jury in Donald Trump's so-called hush money trial is starting a second day of deliberations. The former U.S. president is facing 34 felony counts accused of falsifying business records to cover up payments to adult movie star Stormy Daniels during the 2016 presidential election campaign. While the payments were allegedly meant to prevent Daniels from going public about her claims of an affair with Trump. At the courthouse on Thursday, Trump once again called the trial rigged. This is a very sad day for America. The whole world is watching. And it's a very sad day for New York. I've gone through two of these trials already. It's a very, with the same kind of a judge. It's all worked. It's all rigged. The whole thing, the whole system is rigged. Judge Ed Gordon was overturned five times in my case. And he's going to be overturned again. And we were treated very, very badly. And the outside world is watching, and the outside world is just not going to bring their business to New York. And that's going to cost the city trillions and the state trillions and trillions of dollars. Businesses are leaving. Let's take you now to New York. Uh, John Hendren, who's live for us at the courthouse. John, good to see you. What's happening? Well, Lily, you heard there from the president, the former president. He said what he often says, and that is that this trial, if it was brought at all, it should have been brought years ago. But, of course, one of the things we know about this trial is the reason this and the other three Trump trials have not been concluded by now is that his lawyers have used every delay tactic possible to push it to after the election. So the fact that it's occurring while he wants to be running in the election, that's really partly his problem. Um, the jurors are in their second day of deliberations. A day earlier on Wednesday, they asked the judge to see some testimony again. That was about a, a, a 2015 meeting in which the publisher of the National Enquirer tabloid agreed to find negative stories about Trump and then quash them. And they wanted to see the testimony from him, David Pecker, and they also wanted to hear from Michael Cohen. That was Trump's former lawyer and fixer who has testified against him in this trial. And one of the things they're trying to establish is whether the events occurred as the prosecution said. It was Cohen who said that Trump made those payments deliberately in order to pay off Stormy Daniels before the election so that voters wouldn't know. And that's the crime we're talking about here at 34 instances of truck. Trump writing a check to Cohen to cover that up. So they're going to go over each of those checks and they're going to go over the testimony. And the defense has argued that Cohen simply isn't credible. The prosecutors have argued you don't have to rely on Cohen's testimony because we have lots of other testimony and documents that show that Donald Trump covered up this payment. And John, so now a second day of deliberations. What can we expect next? Well, at some point, they're going to come to a verdict. Uh, if it comes early, it could come as soon as today. Uh, there are a lot of court watchers who say that juries like to come out with these verdicts on a Friday. They want their weekends off. And if they're close to a resolution, that they will try to do so on a Friday if they can. But whenever they do this, uh, they have to decide a couple of things. First, is Trump guilty of making these 34 payments, which are labeled by the prosecutors, as false document filings? They're called legal fees. And the, the prosecution says that's not what they are. They're payments uh, to a former adult film star. Um, and then they have to decide, in order to make that a felony or a high crime, they have to decide that it was done in commission with another crime. And what prosecutors are arguing, they have a couple theories, but their main theory is that what Trump was doing was defrauding voters by hiding the facts about his private life 12 days before the election. That's when he made the deal with Stormy Daniels. So that would be the crime that makes this a felony. And if he was convicted of all of that, he could get four years in prison for each of those offenses, which is highly unlikely because he hasn't been convicted of a major crime before. But also, being a former president, uh, the, the court has taken every opportunity uh, to give him leeway, despite the fact that he has 10 times been fined for violating a gag order. So it's more likely that he would get um, home detention or even probation. Either way, it's going to make it difficult for him to campaign this fall. And you can expect to hear more complaints from Trump about that. All right, John, unprecedented. Uh, John Henry reporting live from outside the courthouse in New York. Thank you so much.